Korea's army. Well, so currently, we'll be passing this round, but he'll be sat in there holding in tight. Right, let's see how they do this. CCTV catwalk clear. There's no one lie. So this should be so fucking free, no? You just breach, garage, walk in, fire, kill joystick, bang, bang. Why did I quit competing? I suggest you watch my retirement video. There's like four different videos, I think. They all talk about it. There's a lot of factors for it. A lot of factors. Lots of reasons. Oh, stun? No stun! Wait, oh, they did it late. Oh, slow little Toffee fumbled it. He can still go again. Breach this one. Sophia stun. There we go. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. He dies. He dies. Always. My man. Come on, man. The timing is way too late. Like, there's a solid second off working out. I love the commitment, but boy. And then lose Dan shortly after. It's a disaster. Like, just take the W that you got one extra thermal charge, you know? You can't get both always. You should never get both. So now, next step. Walking catwalk, fire, Breedy holds the door. This guy has the breach. And then you can isolate joystick into a 5 versus 2. Here you see it, fire. Fire. Door swings. Yeah, just like I said, yeah. All right, Shepard, 1 HP. The clutch of your life. Not possible, but you can try it. Yeah, he doesn't have defuser, so he's just kind of staying there for the sake of staying there. Doink? C4? Wait. 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 He was planting off the, the, the corner. Interesting. Solid round from BDS. Trusted his teammates. It's just a precarious spot to plant in. Unless they thought it was lounge. Doink. Yeah, this was... I mean, it was close, right? But I feel like it was very obvious he was not gonna trigger it. Maybe it wasn't. I think more teams need to play bar. I know bar is really freaking difficult to play right now. But I think CCTV has the same issue unless you ban the capital. Like every single time I watch this map, teams defend CCTV. Capital gets played, you lose. And it's the same in uh, in Talon with Scrim Clubhouse. Same exact thing. It's just not playable. For the middle, switch up great for VP. Well, that's what I thought too, but I also have a counter argument. If the game gets slowed down for other players, then VP's like more like specific way of playing the game that favors their playstyle also gets nerfed with that. I think that could be the reason why it doesn't work so well. Oh, this fire is fucking melting, BDS. They got they got baited into the fucking. Oh! They dropped straight into hell. Oh, a big flank from Yusus. Oh my God, they're so low now. They win from blue and back flank. Oh my days. That should never happen. Kind of surprised two players died to use this as well. Not much fighting back. That's the uh, SMT-12 too. That's a huge weapon to do it on. One of my focuses is disc for garage. The issue with garage is that there's no good spots to put them on my discs, right? If this is the staircase to garage and you have catwalk rafters here and here. Like, you can put the disc up on the beams, but they get shot from below garage. Put them on the rafters, they get, they, you get fired because the might as will catch it here 
fire spreads like this. There's not really anywhere to put them on my discs, really, that I find that are actually going to help you a whole lot. But yeah, this was kind of troll. Pasha didn't hold the cross, and the Valkyrie, or it was on bottom main stairs, I think it was Valkyrie, also didn't hold it. Like, the guy on main stairs died, okay, fair enough, but why does no one look for it afterwards? Yes, got their own game plan. They're gonna show the issue is, well, might doesn't really work against Capitan and Capital Grafters. Not really. It is so quick every single round. Look at this. Two minutes left. They've opened Kitchen Vert from Office, Mainsters Vert. And if, if they had Ibana in the right position, like British Droning or whatever, I guess, or whatever he was doing at least, they could have already opened the hatch, which they're doing right now. This pace is ridiculous. They took full roam clear in 20 30 seconds. And that's what Solus open. I know Solus isn't played in this round, but the balls to put the drones where they did against like the fact that Solus could be played and there was previously. Alright, the solid go kind of so, so they pop that wait twenty. They can execute with like 45 seconds left. Oh we got drone bug. Drone bug! Oh no, sub observer. Here, three, two, one. There we go. Been there before. Little observer swap. So yeah, 45 seconds left. It's programming the execute timer here. Oh, great pre rip C4 from Pasha. Up above the reinforcement. Yeah, how did they know? They didn't. Just timing. Sound. They're gonna be and they're gonna go, I think. I said 45. That's now. Dude, I was right on the money. Right on the money. That's the fuse I was gonna plant. He's gonna go walk in close left here. Yep, and then plant. He can go for it still. Oh, the sprint. League Effect is trolling. Because the League Effect doesn't die here. Go out dirt. Go dirt and go out. Upstairs we go. Oh, it's Shaiko. He'll stay side. Shaiko is one of the few players that will always take gunfights over positions because he's better. But he might regret that now. Oh, Brede kind of sold him. He's playing post now. Okay, so they did two different things. So they're gonna think he's post avert. He gets off it. They don't know. They don't have the intel. Now they sold. They sold so hard. Imagine Shaiko goes dirt tunnel and goes into kitchen, has the vertical control. Brede sticks bottom main. He can kill the first guy. Instead, Shaiku plays Sacrifice on the bottom side and doesn't win in the 50-50. Breedy doesn't hold the cross with the trade. And then Breedy is forced to sprint into that last gunfight in case he sticks it. And again, BDS don't have a drone on the side. Because if they have a drone, they can just call, hey, he's off the plant. And this is like, I think Shaiku's biggest weakness is that he doesn't want to play the game smart because he's so much fucking better mechanically. Because in most 1v1 situations, you're going to see a player like... Put a drone, play vertically, like try and bait down the timer. Shaiko will nine times out of ten just sprint or like walk at his opponent, defense or attack, and just go for kill. Cause I remember screaming BTS and playing them in Pro League early on, and I was in a 1v1 or like a 2v2 against Shaiko. I'm like, okay, he's gonna, you know, play it slow for the next 30 seconds. I was like, I'm, I'm dead. He just ran at me as an attacker in a 1v1. I'm like, that's fucking stupid. But if you're that good at getting kills, why not? But this right here, League Effect sprinting in. That cost him the round as well. Not only did he sprint and die without fighting back, but also he doesn't need to go in like that. They smoked off the right, they have to push the left, and you can see the right even if they don't, unless he thought there was a C4. Because it wasn't mute. Because then again, you play post plant on Kitchen Road. Now they're gonna go gym, of course. So you see these keepers, right? This keeper and this keeper. 
Jinjim is not there currently. Yes, they help defenders, but they also have attackers. It depends on like positions, right? But when you're playing equal numbers or man advantage on defense, you just want to make it hard for attackers to get kills. So it's okay if they can jump in the window because they're going to get fucked. 30 seconds, catwalk control. Again, super fucking quick. They might get a freebie here. Look, they're so fast. They're so quick. This is why it's so efficient, but like, this is round 12. There's no reason why VP should out of this in round 12. It's been like this every round that I've watched. They're always fast. Like, 30 seconds, they're there. And yet, they have Valkyrie, and no one's watching Gary's TV cam, and they die. I don't know. What I think the best operation was? Operation Health, or Velvet Shell, or... Uh... What's it called? Velvet Shell Health, or... It's not Blood Orchid, it's um... Echo Hibana. Oh, not Echo Hibana. Uh, yeah, Echo Hibana, what's it called? It's the other one. It's not Blood Orchid, it's the other one. Red Crow, there it is. Red Crow. I keep getting Blood Orchid and Red Crow like mixed up, yeah. Red Crow, Velvet Shell, or Operation Health with my like top three. 115, again at the bomb side. A very strong uh, position for BDS. They just need to be some uses, get the player intel, 3, 2, 1, execute, drone below and bar, and they can plant. Oh, there we go. That's why you try and put those keywords down. That should be GG. That, that death right there should be GG. BP don't strategically have a way to win. They gotta hit like a crazy shot or a crazy like double C4 kill. Ah, it's over. It is so over. I think VP is not actually playing against BDS here. Like, hold CCTV, hold connector. Because, like, you can try and play sight, but you're going to get fucking picked apart regardless. It's not going to matter. Like, that's a great shot, but it doesn't matter. Because they're just, like, waiting to get choked out on the bomb side. They don't even play C4s below. Like, Shepard is putting up a clinic right now. Like, beautiful shots. But again, if BDS wanted to, they could just, like, jerk off out of the building and still win. Hey, Shaq on the roof? They don't want to lose this one. He's gonna listen to like the third tap, drop hatch, and then Levi walks in. Walk in, third tap, drop. There it is. As it was told. Third tap, drops down, Levi walks in, Beta walks out, Shaq drops, gets to go. Bang. Bang, bang, pow. Shouldn't have been as close as it was. So BDS should have probably won this game 7-3? Because always had a massive clutch or whatever. Somebody had a massive clutch downstairs. And then they bottled that previous round. Should have probably been a 7-3 from what we saw. But maybe maybe BDS clutched as well. Yeah. Point by jerking off. It's this concept that I call... Doing nothing is doing something. This is a term that I coined in Siege nine years ago in the beta of the game. And I've always used it in my professional career. Because this is a concept that I think a lot of players, especially like new players, don't really understand. And what it means is that simply staying alive is very valuable in Siege. AKA doing nothing is doing something. Because there are a lot of games where when you're not actively playing the game, you're not getting a lot of value. But in Siege, just the fact that you are alive because of how important like mana advantage is and like angle holding and stuff, so valuable. On that gym the attack, for example, when BDS are five versus three, they know there's a gap. They cannot hold connect the door, office hatch drop, jacuzzi breach, and both gym and master bedroom window jump in at the same time because there's three guns. So there will be a gap in two of the player positions that BDS will push from. So simply doing nothing, if VP don't swing the windows, don't get caught by moving too much, they're doing something by consistently again staying alive. 
So 